Hey everyone, it's James. And Stephanie. And let's take a closer look at these passenger seats, or the dinette seats in yes. the Solus. We know a lot of you looking at the Solus are families, and you're going to be transporting your kids, so that makes these seats a big deal. Right. So we see getting asked online a lot of questions like, how comfy are the seats? How wide are the seats? How safe are the seats? Yeah, so we want to take a look at all those things right now, but let's start with how safe they are, because that's the big one. To start off, these seats come with the three-point lap belts that pull, mine on. <laughs> that pull from the middle area. And this is a lot more protective than the, than the, just the lap belts, yes. normally just the two-point lap belts. Right. And besides that, it comes with a really beefy head restraint too. Yeah, and that's supposed to be more protective in the event of an accident, having that strong head. I think it's important to stress that these are these are like an automotive grade yeah. of seating. It's not like in a typical RV where you might get like, you know, just something made out of plywood with a cushion on it and a lap belt that's like your right. dinette seat. These are heavy duty automotive. There is a substantial amount of steel underneath the seats, both above the floor and below the floor holding them in place. So these, in my opinion, these are as sturdy as any automotive seat. So let's talk about how wide the seats are. Right now, I actually got a tape measure and I measured them and they're 17 and a half inches wide, kind of here across the bottom, which feels wider than some airplane seats <laughs> I've had to sit in. The, the only thing is there's no there's no center armrest, right. you know, for kids to fight over or for you yeah. to try to you know, passive aggressively push your neighboring passenger off the armrest. There might be a little bickering <laughs> with the no armrest. Maybe, maybe you want to <laughs> shove a piece of plywood in there to keep something. your children separated <laughs> while they ride. Well, the real question about how wide the seats is that comes up, I think it has to do with car seats. Mm. So we went so far as to borrow some car seats from, from some friends. So don't judge us when you see us putting the car seats <laughs> in here. My kids are 30 years old and, and car seats were a lot different back in the Jurassic area <laughs> era when I had kids. Well, I didn't think you were that old. <laughs> so anyway, two, these two car seats fit. They the car seats do fit. There isn't the tether, though. There is no tether. There's no top no tether, but you can use the three-point seat belt, which I am still wearing, <laughs> to uh, secure the car seats. Okay, and finally, let's talk about comfort. Yeah, comfort's a big deal because as RVers, some of our trips are really long, and you could be in these seats a really long time. It's true. Um, one of the first things I noticed about these seats mm -hmm. compared to traditional RV dinette type seating is that they are reclined. They're angled like yeah. an automotive seat, and so that right away provides additional comfort. Yeah, they're firm. There's a lot of good lumbar support. Mm -hmm. And you also want to make sure that there's good pressure distribution along any kind of automotive seat so that your sits bones and the backs of your legs are all, it, the weight is all equally distributed. And you these you, do you sound like you may have written an article about proper seating <laughs> posture. You can find that on the Fit RV. <laughs> but these seats do that very well. So you're not going to face that fatigue that happens from uncomfortable seats. And leg room too. Yeah. Well, another... plenty of leg room. Plenty. I guess it kind of depends on how far back the driver puts their seat. Oh, but that's true. There's plenty of room. And, you know, you could even keep the table here. We don't have it in right now. So that's going to do it for the seats. Yeah, um, we give them a thumbs up. We'll see you later. Bye.